It bifurcates at approximately L4 to L5 into the right and left common iliac arteries. The inferior vena cava, where the right and left common iliac veins return their blood flow, is located to the right of the aortic bifurcation. The ovarian vessels arise from the abdominal aorta. The right ovarian vein returns to the inferior vena cava while the left ovarian vein returns to the left renal vein. They travel in close proximity to the ureter along the medial aspect of the psoas muscle and supply the ovaries through the infundibular pelvic ligament or suspensory ligament of the ovary. Here is a laparoscopic view of the left lower quadrant. These are the left ovarian vessels traveling just lateral to the psoas muscle. Medial to the psoas muscle lies the inferior mesenteric and left colic arteries. The genital femoral nerve lies on the surface of the psoas muscle. The left ureter is seen in close proximity to these structures, which can be identified via its peristalsis. The superior rectal vessels are also seen medial to these structures. This illustration depicts the relationship of the pelvic ureter to the iliac vessels and the anterior branches of the hypogastric artery. The ureter is most easily identified at the pelvic rim where it crosses over the bifurcation of the common iliac to the external iliac and internal iliac arteries. The internal iliac artery is also known as a hypogastric artery, which branches into the anterior and posterior divisions. The anterior division of the hypogastric artery branches into the obliterated umbilical, superior vesicle, and uterine artery. Note the ureter travels medial to the uterine artery, then travels inferior to the uterine artery to enter the bladder, hence the saying, water under the bridge. This is a fluoroscopic view of the uterine artery as it branches off the internal iliac artery and enters the uterus. In this patient, a fibroid is seen distorting the anatomy and the vasculature of the uterus.